So this is White Liz. It uh, was opened by the Lord Mayor of London in 1912. And as you can see, it stretches along a whole block of Queensway. The Grade II listed Edwardian facade will be retained, but two 10-storey blocks will be added with more than 100 new homes, a hotel, cinema and shops. The Save Whiteley's Heritage Group said it was unhappy the building's octagonal glass dome would be demolished and the Italian staircases will be moved to the side of a building. More than a thousand people have signed a petition. With me is Claire Marie Robilliard, and you're from what organisation? From uh, an, a campaign called Get Whiteley's Right. And what are your concerns about the redevelopment? Our concerns, we've got, we've got five main objections. The first uh, objection is about the loss of life. We're also worried about the impact of digging out the basement levels, which are effectively the, the land mass of one and a half large football pitches. And also there's a lack of uh, affordable housing. The ho housing is so deeply unaffordable. So the square footage targets around £3,000 a square foot, which basically means that a lot of these units, and there are 103 re uh, residential units, they're going to be very large and therefore very expensive. Lovely. Thank you very much indeed. A Westminster City Council spokesperson said the proposal from Foster and Partners presents a positive opportunity to transform a shopping centre which by all accounts is struggling. However, it is important that this works for residents. That is why Westminster City Council will draw up a list of practical conditions that addresses residents' understandable concerns.